Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about the last like, I think it's like eight foundations that I have tried recently. So if you guys are new here, my name is Stacy. I feature unfiltered makeup opinions and honest reviews. So if you like that kind of content, subscribe. Let's get into this video. There are eight foundations that I have recently tried. These range from like a skin tint to more of a full coverage foundation. Some of them I have featured in my Foundation Friday video, so I will link that playlist for you. But today we're going to be talking about these eight foundations, what I think of them, and my honest thoughts, opinions, just to give you guys a little bit of like information about my skin. My skin is a more on the dry side in the summertime, which is the months that we're getting into right now, it tends to be a little bit more oily. And when I tried some of these foundations, all of these foundations, it was from March till current. So these have been tried over the span of the last couple of months when the weather has been a little bit more rainy outside. It's been a little bit cooler and my skin was just definitely more on the not necessarily dry, but necessarily like combination. Definitely no problem areas, no dry patches, anything like that. I am 34 years old and I live in upstate New York. So we get a plethora of the seasons up here. And like I said today, it's almost 90 degrees outside and I'm filming under these really hot lights. So that's a little bit about like the situation with my skin. Today, let's just Let's start out with the one that I am wearing that is currently on my face today, and that is the new True Match from L'Oreal. This is the super blendable foundation. I have the shade C1 Cool Light. I definitely think that this is such a beautiful, natural, skin-like foundation. It is very like lightweight. It's more of a light to medium coverage depending on how you use it. I used a beauty blender today and it gave me more of a like light, almost medium coverage. It did cover up my blemishes. I actually didn't use any concealer today because I wasn't in the mood for concealer. And it's a very lightweight formula, very moisturizing, very, very like evens your skin tone, gives you some coverage. It is not a serum foundation at all, but it is a very long wear, long lasting foundation. It is not full coverage by any means though. Like it's definitely not going to conceal like everything, but it is going to give you this beautiful natural glow to the skin. I did do a whole Foundation Friday video of this, of this foundation, and it is just one of my favorites. I actually have it in a like can't get enough of this makeup video where it's like one of my current favorites. It's still one of my current favorites. I think it's a great summer foundation if you're looking for something that is super lightweight, that isn't going to feel like it's weighted on your skin, just something really natural looking. And if you want dewy, glowy skin, this is the foundation for you. Again, I have the shade C1 Cool Light and I am a cool light undertone. Even in the summer, I'm like pasty pale white, but it's definitely very glowy, very natural. Put it on and it's just, it is so beautiful. We're going to do, this is another favorite of mine. I tried this one again. This was in like a full face of testing new on the market makeup and this is a Juvia's Place I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. This is also scented and that's like the caveat to this is that this is scented so if you don't like scented product this one is very scented. However it smells like a cherry because it has black cherry extract in it. So this foundation is very hydrating, very dewy, very full coverage, wears like the entire day, and it is just such a beautiful, natural formula. It's one of those foundations where you can get that full coverage look, but it doesn't look cakey on your face, and it is just so beautiful. I did have this in a speed review as well as the like trying new makeup on the market, but this is such a beautiful foundation, and I have been wearing this quite a bit recently in the more like humid hot weather that we've been having because I love the natural radiance it gives my skin. I do two dots on my face and then I just blend it out with a brush for more of a like heavier coverage but it's very like dewy and natural. It's just such a beautiful formula and they did a really great job with this. If you are looking for something 
you know, a little bit more full coverage that is more for coverage than the L'Oreal, but has the same qualities where it doesn't feel like your skin is weighted down. It looks luminous. This is the foundation for you. Juvia's Place. The shade that I have is Maracow. And again, this is more of like a cool undertone for light skins. They do have a plethora of shade ranges. So you can find a lot of shade ranges in this. This is also a great like summer foundation comes with a little pump. It's just such a great formula for summer. I really have enjoyed that foundation just over, I actually tried it like way back in January and it's been one I've been dipping into constantly over the past couple of months and it's just so beautiful. Hard to think that we're six months into the year and like that was six months ago that I first tried it and it's just so beautiful. Like I So let's talk some skin tints, some high-end, some drugstore. And for a drugstore $5 price point, I have the Super Serum Hyaluronic Acid from Makeup Revolution, their Relove line. This retails for $5. And this is a very lightweight skin feeling formula. It does have hyaluronic acid in it, so it does kind of give that plumping effect to the skin. It is very very lightweight and light looking. The coverage on it though is like really beautiful. It gives you more of like a medium coverage. It's not 100% full coverage, but it's not like super lightweight either, like light coverage. And it is such a beautiful natural formula. I found that this works best with the, I either use a like sunscreen serum primer to put on my face or I use the gripping primer from e.l.f. and those two paired together it is just it is so beautiful actually I use the gripping primer from e.l.f. for a lot of these foundations and I found that it's just it it blows my mind away it is so beautiful so another another drugstore skin tint is the wet n wild tinted hydrator this is a skin veil hyaluronic acid and squalene are in it. It's a lightweight, non-greasy formula. And I have the shade Porcelain. And this comes in about not even a full fluid ounce, but I really enjoyed this. It's very lightweight. It feels like a tinted moisturizer, but it gives a little bit of added coverage. So if you're looking to do a very like no makeup makeup day, this is like the perfect skin hydrator for you. The only downside is that it doesn't have a lot of shades that come with it, but it does retail for a really affordable price at like $6 at Ulta Beauty. You can find this probably for a little bit less at Walmart or Target. And it is very like skin plumping, skin nourishing. You look juicy, hydrated, very natural. This is like a really good like go-to summer foundation for me. I actually, like I haven't done any kind of foundation Friday, but if you guys want to see a foundation Friday with the skin tint from Wet n Wild, the tinted hydrator, leave me a comment down below because this is a good one. And I want to show you the longevity of that foundation. It is just so beautiful. And on a high-end price tag and also a like tinted moisturizer feeling is the Skin Treat from Tarte. It's a poreless tinted moisturizer with SPF 20 in it. To me, it has a very lightweight feel to it. And then it also feels, it's not quite moussey, but it's definitely on the skin, it feels moussey. When it goes on, it almost feels like it has silicones in it and it in some ways the feel on my skin almost feels like the Maybelline like four-in-one perfecter concealer that I tried last year but it doesn't cling to dry spots it doesn't have any problems with wear darn time it is very 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 lightweight though and I honestly have to say that like these two together um this one, I believe, is kind of like a dupe for this one. You do get more product in the, technically it's Sugar Rush, but it's from Tarte. You get more product in here. You do get a whole fluid ounce, whereas this one you only get 0.91 ounces, but these are literally dupes for each other, and they do exactly the same thing. Wear down really well. They don't clean to any dry spots. They just, they look so beautiful. This one does come with the SPF 20, so I do really like that. And I like to pair it with, again, like a gripping primer or even with a SPF to get more SPF in there. So as you guys know, I have been trying and using the Super Matte 2 in 1 Foundation and Concealer from Makeup Revolution. This is their Relove line, $5 in the shade F2. And 
I've raved about this so, so much on my channel. I will link some of the reviews for you, the speed reviews, the wear tests, the transfer proof makeup. This overall is just like my favorite foundation. Comes in a glass bottle. So I did replace the top with a pump so that it was easier to get the product out. But overall, it's a very satin formula. It's not, it says super matte, but to me, it feels more like satin. Glides on your skin just so beautifully and it evens everything out. It is more of a full coverage, medium to full coverage, super buildable, super wearable, and it lasts a very, very long time. It is transfer proof. If you follow my transfer proof makeup routine, use this foundation for transfer proof makeup, especially like if you're getting married, that would be a great like wedding foundation. It is just such a beautiful formula for $5. I was completely blown away by how good it is. And it's only $5. Okay, some oldies but goodies slash like one was reformulated like last year. So technically it's an oldie. And then one is one was possibly getting reformulated now and maybe, maybe discontinued. Let's start with this one because we did a foundation Friday on this one. It is the Super Stay Active Wear 30 Hour Concealer concealer foundation from Maybelline comes in a pump formula I do have the shade 112 which is natural ivory I did a foundation Friday review on this and I was like where's the foundation because it just blended in so beautifully and looked so much like skin and it lasted all day long this has become very easily one of my favorites I pair it with the super stay active wear concealer which is also a really lightweight concealer and it's just very skin-like but full coverage and it lasts all day long like between two the two of these like these are both great options for makeup if you're for wedding makeup this summer because this one's transfer proof this one lasts all day and it's meant to be in an active situation so like if you're sweating a lot and it lasts through all of that it's such a great formula okay let's talk about a super, super oldie, but a goodie to me. And I bought this foundation as a recommendation from Kelly Gooch. And she shared that Sephora was having a sale and they were selling them for $10. And I was like, are they discontinuing it or are they reformulating it? Rumor has it they're reformulating it. I really hope not. Maybe they're just getting different packaging. But we have the Stay Naked Foundation from Urban Decay. This is in the shade 40 CP. So it is a cool undertone and it is a little bit dark for me but it does come with a pump formula it's just a very satin natural finish foundation lasts a long time looks like skin and it is so beautiful like definitely worth the ten dollar price point i think the only thing i really just don't like about this is like how bulky and weird the packaging is like it fits kind of funny but maybe that's why they're discontinuing the old packaging. Maybe they're getting new packaging. But the pump works really, really well. The formulation is absolutely stunning. It doesn't cling to anything weird, doesn't settle into fine lines. It just gives you a beautiful skin-like finish. And it is definitely such a beautiful foundation. So Urban Decay, I hope you aren't discontinuing this. I hope that you are actually maybe just possibly getting new packaging for it. Let's talk about, so here are some bad ones, like bad foundation. And I can't believe that I'm, I'm going to report on this. So I tried, I tried to do a whole foundation Friday with this, but the audio got like completely messed up. I was so mad at myself, but we have the new Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow with SPF 30. I have tried this foundation with a beauty blender, with a brush, with my fingers, and it does not apply well at all. I've tried it with a gripping primer from e.l.f. I have tried it with a pore filling primer. I have tried it with sunscreen, moisturizer. Every single way that you could figure of trying this foundation, this serum moisturizer, and it just doesn't work for me. It pills on my skin and it just looks disgusting. Like it clings to everything, pills on my skin. It just looks so uneven, unbalanced. I have never experienced such a horrible time with a foundation. 
as I have with the Healthy Glow from Too Faced. And this is at a pretty hefty price point too, and it just is not a great Healthy Glow for me. It doesn't do anything for my skin at all. It just makes it look worse. It makes me look ragged and old and wrinkly and texturized, and it just is not a good foundation for me at all. I don't know. Like, I have tried everything. I don't even know if it would work for somebody. So many people are like, oh yeah, this works for me. And I'm like, how? What are you doing different that I'm doing different? Because it doesn't work for me at all. Like, at all. And it's really frustrating because so many people have raved about this. And like, I just can't. I can't get behind this foundation. It just doesn't work for me. And it... I'm hoping maybe I can give it to somebody who it's going to work for. Maybe somebody who has drier skin so that it soaks in because it's a serum foundation and it's not going to pill on their face. I don't know. It's just not a good foundation. On that note, this kind of does the same thing too. And I'm so sad because I also bought this off of a recommendation from Kelly Gooch. This is the Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Foundation. I tried this in a foundation Friday and at first I was like, oh, I really like it. Like, you know, it wore really well. It looked skin-like at the end of the day, but only under certain circumstances can I wear this product because like the Healthy Glow from Too Faced, I have tried every which way to wear this and I get different results every time I wear it with the same product that worked before. And it's frustrating because it just doesn't work for me all the time. If I use the e.l.f. primer with this and you know, sometimes it'll cling funny in weird little patches all over my face. If I use an SPF, it pills off. And I've tried it with an SPF, without an SPF, and it just isn't wearing the way that I would like it to wear. And I'm having to correct my foundation every single time I wear it with like a really good finishing powder like the Bare Minerals or even my Sephora Baked Powder. And to me, like, I shouldn't have to do that. I bought this because I wanted it to be real easy, quick serum, covering up my blemishes, making my skin tone a little bit more even, and it doesn't even work like that at all. So out of all of these foundations, the two that just did not work for me were both more like serum -y foundations. They just, they don't work on my skin, not under any condition. I tried them both with beauty blenders and brushes and so many different primers and they're just duds for me. So these two just totally weren't worth it for me. I don't recommend them. So there you have it, all of the foundations that I have tried within the past couple of months, the 10 foundations that I have recently tried. That's a lot of foundations. Thank you so much for staying tuned to this video. I hope you consider subscribing so I can see you in my next one. Bye.